Hey there y'all, my name is Jason Dames. I'm with Final Start Fitness. Today we just wanted to bring you a short little video. I wanted to talk about an awesome book that I've read. It, it was a couple years ago, I recently reread it. It's called The Slight Edge. And um, I, I wanna go into what The Slight Edge is all about. And it'll be really brief, but I just wanna cover just a brief, um, to, to put this in context, what I mean about it. Now, you hear me talk about all the time the five areas that you need to, to take control of to lose weight. The areas that are nutrition, exercise, sleep, stress, and toxins. So if you wanna remember those five things, you can remember it as an acronym and as NEST, N-E-S-S-T. So obviously we need to work on them five areas to really make physiological adaptations to really lose weight. And so if you're the person here, you're wanting to lose weight, you're, you've, you've dieted for so many years, you've tried to figure it all out and it just leaves you overwhelmed and you feel like you never, you just don't have any belief. You just feel down and, and, and lack of confidence. Then this video is for you because you can totally take control of your health. You can take control of your weight and then five areas are the areas that you need to work on to do that. But I wanna go a little bit above them five areas because if you don't get the slight edge concept, the, you won't ever do any of the five areas that it takes to lose weight. So the slight edge principle, it's uh, written by a guy by the name of Jeff Olson. And Jeff Olson did an awesome job really describing what the slight edge is all about. It's just really a philosophy. It's a philosophy that your little habits every day that you do they compound over time and over time as they compound you end up with a certain amount of results whether good or bad and so the idea is that your thinking and how you think about things how you process things ends up determining your habits your habits then in turn determine your actions and ultimately your actions really determine your results right so I always tell people, if you really want to lose weight, you want to change your results in life, you really have, it's more about how you think than it is what you do. Because the, the doing part comes after you get the right thinking in mind. So what I mean by that, for example, is if you're a person that just decides to set out to do something and you want to achieve like, let's say weight loss, and you decide that you're gonna get a gym membership, you're gonna go like three times a week and you're gonna do this and you're gonna start eating healthy. But then all of a sudden like you have a ball game come up or something, uh, some other extracurricular activity and this happens and this happens and then you really don't ever prioritize your life and then you end up just letting life over, you know, uh, over overtake the thing that you were planning on doing that you wanted to get success in and it, you just end up failing in that because you didn't have the right thinking to, in place to put in the action that you needed. Is this making sense? So again, your, your, your uh, thinking determines your habits, your habits determine your actions and your actions determine your results. So you have to get in a place where once you decide that you wanna get a certain result, you wanna lose weight, you wanna feel good again, what you got to do is get this philosophy that I'm going to make these little habits in my lifestyle. So I'm going to, I'm going to start making some, some small little like nutritional habits. I'm going to start like, let's say add water in 80 to hundred ounces of water daily. That's a good habit. And you start to implement that and you do that on a daily basis and you decide, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. You got to stick with them little habits and then little habits over time, they're gonna get you them results that you really, really want. And so you can apply that in all the different five areas that we talked about. So let's just take all that that we just talked about and let's go w even one step further because before you decide to get that slight edge mentality, you gotta decide what it is and why you're doing what you're doing. See, if you don't, if you don't believe and you don't have any motivation to do it, you're never gonna apply the philosophy, the slight edge, which is in turn is gonna make the actions doable in them five areas. So let's go back and rewind a little bit and think about what it is and why it is you wanna lose weight. You know, I, I sit down with a lot of people and most of the time the ones that 
just want to, to lose lose weight really fast and they just want to get into the, into the beach and they just uh, they just want the quick fix. Them are the ones that don't particularly tend to last and do the right things to make that slight edge work for them and not against them. So I always find that when you really get something internal, when you start to realize like, hey, I wanna live a healthy lifestyle and I wanna grow old and I don't want all these aches and pains and I wanna have a, a vibrant lifestyle where I can run around with my kids, I can feel good, I can have energy, I, and I can really just have great health, them are the ones that start to make and implement than things in their life and they make them habits to where they actually can live it out long term. See, if you want to lose weight, you got to get healthy first. Most people got it backwards. They want to lose weight and then get healthy. So I encourage you, think about what it is that drives you. I like to look at, you know, look at other people that down the road, 10, 20 years down the road, and you see most of America's, most people in America, I, I should say, are just living a very, very, very just un fulfilled life or they don't have any energy they're 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 feeling sick um, just having debilitating problems whether it's their gut issues or just cancer or whatever that comes along or just being overweight just prevents you from doing a lot of the things that you really would like to do so start looking at other people down the road and their lifestyle and start thinking man do I want that do I want to live like that or do I want a vibrant lifestyle where I can just have energy, I can run around, and I can grow old and not have all these pains to where, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sick and in the hospital talking about my joint pains, you know, I was sitting around with my aunts and uncles at one time and they were just all talking about the pains. It just motivated me to be like, damn, I'm on the tr right track. So hopefully you can take control of your life. Start with what it is that you want. What kind of lifestyle do you want? Then implement that slight edge approach that you can create these little habits that end up creating a big result and then implement them in them five different areas. That's nutrition, exercise, sleep, stress, and toxins. And you start working on them things you would believe where you'll be in about a year from now. Don't think short term, but think long term. Again, my name is Jason Dames. I hope that this year is your final start that you can actually take back your life. Take back it for the rest of your life and make, make this healthy year, your chance to get your final start and fit for life. Have a great day. My name is Jason Dane.